Intensive life resources. On Monday morning, this room is filled with deputy after deputy who has responded to non-emergency 911 calls to help those who are mentally ill in Pierce County. I'm sure you guys have been out there probably 20 times. Tracy Krieg is a mental health worker. We have a client who um, has called 911 um, 300 times since January. Tracy is leading a new pilot program in Pierce County a mobile intervention team that wants to reduce the number of people with mental illness who call 911 or end up in jails or emergency rooms. So our goal is to go out to the people that are high responders and figure out what they need in terms of services. Yeah, yeah awesome. Ready yeah, to go. Today, Tracy and her team are going to help a woman named Michelle Butler, a frequent 911 caller who was living in Spanaway. Uh, a trailer behind a house with no running water, no heat infested with rats. The intervention team is going to move Michelle to a mental health facility. Cool. Yeah, I'm emotional, <laughs> good emotional, it's awesome. Michelle says she battles with schizophrenia and has been praying for help. And so today in the back of a van, she can finally relax. <sighs> I just had to take a breath of air. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. A lot of these people that we're seeing are are kind of our forgotten folks. I'm grateful I'm out of there. Because I didn't think I was going to make it. The pilot program is only one month in, and while each case may not be the same, for Tracy, today is a victory. So I'm just really happy we're able to move her to a place that has lots of services in, in place for her and, and will be just a, much better for her. In Pierce County, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News.